So today we're going to be talking about how to analyze a primary source document. And it's important to analyze a primary source document if you're preparing a essay and if you're going to be writing a database question essay and you'll be answering an essential question. For example, the essential question might be, why did the Roman Empire fall? And so as you're going to be writing that essay, you will be analyzing primary and secondary source documents. Now remember, primary source documents, you have to be thinking about the POV or the point of view of the author. And that author's point of view is going to have had a huge impact on the things that they wrote down. And so historians read multiple primary source documents, then of course, write the secondary source document textbooks that we read in the classroom. But if you're going to be focusing on primary source documents, as well as some charts and graphs of secondary source documents, and be including that information to help you come to some type of conclusion to figure out why the Roman Empire eventually fell, you would be thinking about the author of each individual document. And so at first, when you're attempting to write a DBQ essay, you need to think about, okay, is this a primary or secondary source document? After answering that easy question, you need to think about the author's POV or their point of view, specifically their experience, their race, their nationality, their social class status, their ideological position in terms of their political party and their gender. These factors all impact their point of view and it's going to be impacting the types of things that they wrote about. And it's important to be thinking about their potential bias and noting that to realize this is what we learned from this document, but this might not be giving us an accurate and entire picture of what life was like back in this time period. It might not be the entire reason why the Roman Empire fell, if that was our essential question for our GBQ essay. Now I'm going to skip ahead a bit. And when it comes time to analyze a primary source document for a GBQ essay, Many historians like to use this SOAPS model. Sometimes they'll call it a HAP model as well. And the S stands for speaker, O is occasion, A is audience, P is purpose, S is subject, and then also you have to think about the overall tone. So you need to be thinking about each of these factors when you're analyzing a primary source document to figure out, you know, how did these factors influence the author of the document. And so, yes, we can learn information about this time period, but it might not be giving us the full picture. So first off, think about who is the speaker of the document. That would include those um, point of view factors we just mentioned, like social class status, gender, wealth. You know, are they rich or poor? Are they religious? That might be impacting what they said. O is for occasion. So what occasion was this document written? Is there literally a battlefield raging outside of their tent, or are they writing this from the comfort of their own home? The A is the audience. So for whom was this document written or produced? Were they writing this as a letter to persuade a country to create a trade agreement? Are they trying to inform the newspaper um, of you know, a political assassination? Are they simply writing a journal entry? And who this was written for is tied to its purpose. And the purpose is why was this document produced to begin with? What was the producer hoping to accomplish through his words? Was he trying to, um, you know, uh, was he trying to, uh, you know, create a peace treaty? Was a woman trying to gain more rights? Was it that it's a letter between, you know, um, you know, a husband and a wife? Is it a journal entry? So, it really is going to impact the types of things that they're saying. People are probably going to be far more relaxed and comfortable in a journal entry compared to if they're writing a very formal peace treaty or letter to a newspaper. So that's really going to change the types of things that they're saying. Um, they're probably going to be letting their guard down a little bit more in a journal entry. They're perhaps going to be showing their bias a bit more um, and some of their true emotions. But you can also probably assume that they're not trying to persuade someone the way that they might be in uh, some more of these formal legal documents. Now the subject is what is the overall main topic of this document? It's important to be able to sum up the document in a sentence or two. What's it about? And even better yet, can you give this document a label? So if we're thinking back to if our essential question was what are the reasons why the Roman Empire fell? Is this document supporting a political reason why the empire might have fallen apart? An economic? 
a social, so give it a label of political, economic, social, or even internal or external causes. And then last but not least, tone. What is the overall feeling or attitude that this document portrays? Is it anger? Is it hatred? You know, is it depression? What is it helping us to understand about this time period? So it's really important once you are gaining a primary source document to label it as such when you first get it, and then to go through this SOAPS analysis to figure out you know, how the point of view of the author is going to be impacting the knowledge that we gain from the document. And then of course really to focus on the subject matter of the contents itself, to be able to answer questions about it, uh, to really be able to break it down, and then to be able to use that information to eventually uh, you know, draw comparisons between documents and answer that essential question so that then you can go on to write your DBQ essay.